episode of Crypto Television. I'm Hayden, and in this episode, we will be talking about Litecoin as well as Bitcoin, Ethereum, how the market's doing, and OMG at the end because it was a commenter's response, a subscriber's uh, comment that he wanted me to go over. So, if you guys haven't noticed right this second, Litecoin is in the process of retesting. Um, it, it's... It's... Uh, how would I say it? It's resistance level. This is a very, very big, big, big resistance level for Litecoin. And it seems like we are going to possibly blast right past it. And I'm very excited. I was literally on my computer, checked in to see how Litecoin was doing. And all of a sudden, I just see it blowing past all time. I mean, past current records that we've had. We are currently trading at one hundred sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents literally let's see if there is a wall built one hundred and seventy dollar mark which isn't too bad that is something we are looking at though so okay we are at 170 very 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 nice to see that we are breaking out of uh, this downtrend and we are blasting so much higher than the middle moving average, which is very, very, very nice to see. Another thing to pay attention to is the fact that this is a very strong resistance level. So what that means is as long as we can blast above this, it should hopefully act. We need to close above 170, basically. We're at $170.40, which is awesome. But what I need to see us do is close above 170, and then I can see... Litecoin using the 170 as a form of support instead of resistance because as you noticed no the four hour is so much better as you notice well I guess on the daily you can see that we are currently retesting the middle moving average at this moment but on the four hour you'll notice we are almost getting into an oversold state but we are almost at 171 dollars and this is a very key line of support and resistance it acts as support right here one two three four and now five touches all you'll see another one six so it is a very strong line to watch out for and it is very nice to see that we are finally retesting that line which is something we needed to do but we have definitely broken out of this downtrending pattern and we are starting to form a sort of uptrending line here hard to draw something would be best just like that that would pretty much be the line of support we are we are currently following on and as you kind of notice we did ch chill in between here i guess this was easy to see you'd notice that we built this um uptrending triangle and as we started to move up we were sort of hanging out and then we finally built enough steam and we popped out and we and we shot up from that now this movement is from a much lower spot so i can honestly say this is a big triangle i could i could see litecoin going much higher maybe back to 190 today only because the triangle kind of starts right around here at this point and makes us all the way, let's say it is a 160 to 106, so that's around a $54 jump. And from 160, a $54 jump would be all the way up to 254 from 160, around a 210, 215. So let's shoot to see if Litecoin gets to 200 today. It would be very nice to see that this buildup makes us pop up and go all the way to around the 200, if not a little higher range, and that would be very nice. But it is clear that what I said before, we are starting to get bullish with Litecoin. We're now at 171.65, so we're definitely in an uptrend, and we are breaking out, I believe. If you didn't buy Litecoin, it was... Uh, short-lived, but it is time for us to go up. It seems like Litecoin is the only one that is really breaking out at the moment. Yeah, this is the four hour for Bitcoin. Four hour, I mean, let's go to the four hour. Four hour for Ethereum. Ethereum retesting the middle moving average. 
Bitcoin retesting the middle moving average. Litecoin blasting right out of that path. Let's just check the charts. Litecoin up 6% now at 170, which is awesome. Everything else seems to be down. So much faith in Litecoin. We're almost at 172. I can see us going maybe up to this blue line that I have drawn here. But very excited. Very, very, very good news. It's nice to see that Litecoin is finally going up. And I can honestly see it doubling, you know, in price. Not too long. Definitely involved in 2018. So keep hodling, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check out OMG. So what we're going to do is copy, open a new window, paste. Ooh, 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 I meant to do this. Copy, paste. And now type OMG USD. And let's use the Bitfinex one. So let's see what I can see in this chart. What I'm noticing right now is lines of support. This is a huge one right here. I'll make this blue for now. That is a very big line of support. You'll see another one is right here. Draw that. Right here is another key line of support for OMG. Um, I'm going to say that's tough. I'm going to go on to the daily chart to see if what I can see here. And maybe, yeah, right about here again is another line of support. It's for the tops. Mm, tough to say with this top. You can clearly see a double top, one, two, which is a clear indicator that it is going to be bearish, which is exactly what happened. Could not break this out top, so we fell. So that would also be considered a line of resistance up there. You can see a clear uptrend forming right here. Let's see. For all those who are interested in OMG, a clear uptrend and a clear downtrend as well. So let's see. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Try and get this graph the best that I can. I do think there is a potential breakout for OMG though. I'm going to draw that here and I'm going to draw this right here. Fix these lines a little bit. Something like this. You'll see this clear downtrend as well as a clear uptrend. So something is definitely going to happen here. Possible breakout. So keep that in mind. If we do break above the, we're retesting the minimum moving average right now for OMG. If we can break out above the minimum moving average, I would buy in right here for a swing trade, which means see how low it is. Okay, so basically to calculate it, you would go for how low it falls to what it what it's at now. So basically, I would go from. That's tough. Hmm. This is, let's say, 7 to 13, so around 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6, let's say 6.5. So 6.5 from 13.5 is around 20. So there is a chance to see this go all the way up to here. Don't quote me on that, but there's a chance to see it go right up to here. Possibility. 
if we break out of this, I'd buy in and I'd set a stop loss right around 10 just to cover yourself. And if we break this line that I drew here, buy in and ride the wave all the way up to around this 20 line. And that's where I would sell. Maybe somewhere in here I would take profits. So be careful. But that is my advice on OMG. It looks clear that this is an uptrend starting to form followed by resistance. So we'll see who wins, the bulls or the bears. If the bulls win, we're going to go up. If the bears win, we're going to go down. So wait for the breakout. If we break out of this black line and we go up to maybe like 14, 14.3, buy in and ride the wave up. Otherwise, hold out and we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much going to sum up the video for today, guys. If you like this video, please share, like, comment, subscribe. And um, yeah, I appreciate all the comments and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.